Welcome, AdWords professional. I hope you are excited. Today we are learning about Google remarketing and how to generate the code that we would then uh, add to our clients' websites. So first thing here, we are logged into this account and we are going to click on Audiences. If it's not there in your tabs, you should be able to come to this drop-down and select Audiences. So once we click on it, We need to add an audience. Um, you can pick any campaign, an ad group. This isn't the best way for them to generate this code, but anyway, once you get to this screen, you'll just click on remarketing lists and notice that there are none there. So first we need to create the list. So it's annoying that you have to go through that process to create it. There's not just a create new audience button that I found. Anyway, here we are. We're going to create a new remarketing list and name it. Kistics. We can do the duration. We can have it last longer. That's the standard time. So if someone uh, sees this, basically I guess I'll define remarketing code. What it is is as you visit a website, um, a co code would be set on these computers, the visitors of this website, wherever the code is, and they will see ads for that website during the next 30 days in this case. Or if I increase this to 45, um, we could do that. The longer it's there, the more annoyed people will get because they're going to see your ads as they visit Pandora and GrooveShark and all sorts of websites out there, KSL. So um, I'm just going to increase that for fun because I, I want it to be on the person's computer as long as possible. So the code has been created. Now we need to take this code, copy it, and paste it into a notepad file. I'm saving it to my desktop because we will need to add this to the website. Alright, so the code has been generated, and now um, you'll see the number of users is zero. As soon as we get it pasted on the website, people will start to get that cookie set, and then we could check back on this same screen to see how many users have built up. Um, so if we go back to campaigns, Now we're going to find our main remarketing uh, well let's just create a new campaign because it's not based on keywords so okay uh, we can set our geo targeting locations later um, all networks that's all fine set our bid and decide on our budget and all that stuff. So let's just save and continue. We can edit the settings later. So I, I can edit this ad later. Um, all right, and so I'll edit this later. Um, And we'll want that tailored, and then we're not going to be putting in keywords. Um, instead, we are going to add the audience. So now I can add this remarketing list to this ad group. Um, and now, instead of being based off of keywords, the people that see this ad are purely going to be people that are. Um, that have that remarketing code on their website. Um, 
So now I'm going to have to remember to take this remarketing code, which looks like this, and email that to the client to put on the appropriate page. So an example I will show you is Nitro Pack. They have multiple remarketing codes because they have different segments. So on their freeze-dried food page, if I view the source here, and search for remarketing, there it is. So we've got this unique code here. So anyone that visits the freeze-dried foods page is going to see more ads about uh, Nitro Pack, both text ads and banners. And then we've got a separate remarketing code on the MRE page. All right, so um, people could get both cookies set on their computer, but um, Instead of having one remarketing code for the entire website, we wanted people that saw the MRE page to see ads about MREs, people that saw the freeze-dried foods page to see ads about freeze-dried foods. In the case of Kistix, uh, it's only one remarketing code. We're not going to have a separate code depending on where they landed. Either they came to the home page or not. And so by doing so, um, they're going to see our remarketing ads over and over. I think that's it. Questions just asked. Signing out.